Hey everybody, it's Roger coming to you from my apartment in Long Beach, California. And tonight we are going to watch a wonderful performance of Dvorak's Eighth Symphony performed by the Australian Chamber Orchestra at the iconic Sydney Opera House. I hope you're all doing well and that you're safe and healthy and that you're enjoying these watch parties. For me personally, it's been a wonderful way for me to stay in touch and keep connected with my friends, colleagues, and fellow music lovers from all over the world. I want to say hi and thanks for the support to my friends in New Hampshire, uh, Santa Monica, Lake George, uh, Pacific Symphony, and everyone else watching, thank you again. I have no intention of stopping these watch parties and I hope to do them in the weeks to come. So if you have any specific pieces that you would like to hear, please feel free to comment in the comment section or shoot me a message and I'll definitely look into those. So Dvorak's Eighth Symphony is one of Dvorak's most popular symphonies, right up there with the Ninth and the Seventh Symphonies. It's the most joyful, the most positive symphony that Dvorak ever wrote. It was composed in 1889, in less than a year in the Bohemian countryside that Dvorak so clearly loved. There are hints of nature throughout this work, uh, raindrops, bird calls, and it's very idyllic and bucolic at times, and many scholars have called it Dvorak's pastoral symphony. Uh, the third movement introduces hints of Czech folk music, and it's quite nationalistic. Now, there are no folk tunes directly quoted that Dvorak incorporated, but there are, there are hints of folk music that he would have heard growing up in Bohemia, and Dvorak incorporates them into his own unique language. Now, the fourth movement opens with a brilliant fanfare in the trumpets. And I still remember playing this as a senior in high school with the Metropolitan Youth Orchestra of New York at Alice Tully Hall at Lincoln Center. It's one of the most memorable experiences because as a kid, you just you would never dream of playing at Lincoln Center. And to have that opportunity, I will never forget that experience. And it really shaped my musical development in many ways. I recently conducted the work two and a half weeks ago uh, in New Hampshire with Symphony New Hampshire, and then last May with Orchestra Santa Monica. So I absolutely adore this symphony, and I think you're going to enjoy it too. Uh, it's timeless, it's beautiful, it's emotional. There is something for everyone in this symphony. So I encourage you to enjoy the performance tonight. Uh, if you're watching with family and friends, uh, I want to just want to say hi and enjoy it. And Christine will be joining us uh, with commentary and fun facts throughout the evening. So I would just want to say cheers. I'm drinking a Czech Pilsner in the spirit of Dvorak. And I will see you soon. Thank you so much.